Hey you guys, how's it going? This is Brown Mall coming at you. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope your sub experience here in the mall is a great one as well. Okay, as you can see by our little red square here behind me, it is time for another mini house tutorial build. You guys are loving them and I'm love doing them. So we're going to go ahead and build us a medieval style home. You see them everywhere in the Minecraft community, but we're going to build one real quick that you can get up in your world. It's a little minimal effort. It's an easy build, but it's going to take a little effort to collect some of this stuff. But that's okay. You could do it. I know you could do it and impress your friends and get it built into your world. So let's go ahead and get started with the materials. Today, you are going to need 58 spruce logs, 7 cobblestone blocks, 12 cobblestone walls, 42 cobblestone stairs, 7 cobblestone slabs, 24 white wool, preferably white wool. I think it looks the best. Five glass panes, 14 oak fence, and one door. So let's go ahead and start placing some blocks, why don't we? Okay, ooh, hello, that like, oh, why? Hello, we just wanna be right here. Okay, let's go ahead, right here on the corner. We're gonna go ahead and lay a frame down for you. One, two, skip this corner here and do that on all four corners like that. See how, it's, see how, it's, see how we're doing there? See how we're doing? Having that point there. And if you need to lay this five by five out, go ahead, man. Don't don't feel too bad. Here's what it looks like from the from the aerial view. You're kind of making a circle there. A semi-circle. I mean, it looks like a square with the red wool, but but there you go. Okay, get a good look at that. All right, and then we're gonna take these up three. Each one will be three, okay? So go ahead and do that. Take each one up three, and then we're gonna move on to start getting this. The base of this house built. This is a two-story house. That's right. We're going to go and well, well, we'll just discuss it when we get there. Now, let's take our cobblestone walls and place them in the corners. And that is going to use up all of the cobblestone walls. That's all that you needed. It was 12 cobblestone walls. So, we're going to use them up right there in the corners. Make that nice and good there. All right. Here, we're just going to place blocks. The cobblestone blocks right there and right there. Right here and right here. And that's all that's your seven blocks right there okay now to finish off this base we're going to take the glass panes put them where did i put that one i don't know where i put that one i maybe didn't put it anywhere and fill those in and then you know what we can go ahead and throw our door down right here and that is the base of this house so let's get a good look at it we kind of went quick there but it was pretty simple pretty simple to follow you just put your cobblestone walls you put your two cobblestone blocks there with a paint in the middle and then one of these you put a cobblestone on top and then put your door so that's how that's how it goes we're medieval so we don't really want it to look smooth we want it to look kind of blocky like it is but let's go ahead and go on up to the next level you're going to take these logs again to go one two here one two here go one two on all of tops of the walls that way it helps extend the house a little bit and then fill in right like so one two three across the top of your wall there one two not there two three um and make sure the log faces the right way don't worry we're gonna go ahead and give it another another look around see see it's kind of taking shape now it's taking shape all right let's take our white wool let's go ahead and make our shape with our white wool we're gonna go across the bottom like that three fill that in go on a side like that leave this in the blank and then put one on top and break that so that's the shape that you need to do okay three on the bottom uh, one in missing in the middle, two on the sides there, and then one on the top. And let's go ahead and do that on the back side as well. So three on the bottom, come up one on each side, leave the middle blank for your window, and that's how that's going to go. All right, on the sides, we're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. Easy, easy, easy. You guys could do that. That's nothing, right? Easy. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take our logs again. This is going to use all the rest of our logs that I told you that you needed. One, two, three, one, two, three three if you didn't and here you go if you could see that one more time you're going to go on this log right here one two three okay and then come back on this other side one two three now you got two more logs left like that just like that okay and then i'll come back over here i mean obviously you're going to want to use if you're doing this in survival you want to put a piece of dirt for that instead of a log and there you go like that and that's what we should be looking like i totally forgot to turn the daylight cycle off that's okay I'm set. Day. We'll be all right. We'll live. Everybody will live, right? Okay, let's use our last two glass panes. Fill these in real quick. Fill them in. It's not going to bake. take no time at all. Okay, now let's go ahead and work on our roof. Let's get our... Because we got this wood here, and we got the wool, and if lightning strikes, we're in trouble. It's going to burn the house down. Let's go ahead and fill across. All right, and now... We pushed our boundary a little bit, okay? The house is within the 5x5, five five, but our roof sticks out a little bit. But I think that's okay. I think that's 
That's that's fine to cheat that a little bit. Now I'm filling all the way in, and then I'm going to come out across on the sides like so. Okay, or come out one on the side on the front. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Fill in your roof like so with your stairs. Again on this side, we're starting on top like this. That's why we didn't put a window on this side because whoa, we're breaking blocks all over the place. Good grief! I'm getting I'm just clicking and I'm placing them all wrong and everything. But we're just we're placing them on top of those logs, okay? So go ahead and fill the fill your roof in real quick, and that's going to take up all your stairs once you extend them once on both sides, okay? And like we normally do, we stick the stairs underneath the upside down stairs. We're not going to do that today. So go ahead and take your planks and fill in the top. Seven seven cobblestone planks should just go ahead and go straight across there, and then. For the finishing touch here, we're gonna take our oak fence. If you want it, you don't have it doesn't have to be oak. I just use oak just to add another a little bit more color in there. And throw that down like so. And then come back on the other side. Whoops, not right there. Not like that. On the bottom of each of these stairs and that bottom of that slab there. And that's what that looks like so far. That's what we're looking like so far. Now I'm not just gonna leave you like that. You know I don't do you like that, okay? I'm not gonna do you dirty like that. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna dress this place up. A wee bit more, laddies. A wee bit more. All right, let's grab some oak slabs for funsies. Let's grab some oak slabs for funsies for the inside. Where are they at? I'm looking like a big old goofball. I know I scrolled past them several times. There they are. Oak slabs for. I just threw them on the ground. I just I just threw them on the ground. And then let's grab. Oh, let's grab some essentials here. We need chest. We need crafting table. We need furnace. We need a bed. Oh, uh, we're going to use this. We're going to utilize that. And we need some torches up in this mug. And we're going to need some ladders for the inside. And then we'll then we'll come back out here and work on the outside and make it a little pretty. But for, let's, for right now, let's go ahead and hop in here and show you what the inside, some things you could do with the inside. All right? Okay? Is that okay? Is everybody okay with that? I think you are. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to fill this floor in here. And then on this level where this log was, that's where... That's where our second floor is going to begin. And I'm just for this house, I'm just going to throw a ladder here in this corner. And why I choose this corner is because, look at this, okay? So your friends come in here. They come in here. Bam, there's not a ladder in here. But they see a roof. They're like, oh, okay, well, there's a ladder right here. And then you come up and you got the second floor. So see how that kind of works? Kind of, it does it, it, it doesn't take away from the house by having a ladder right here it's like it's like it's a full house full right here okay if if that makes any sense of what i'm saying but let's go ahead and throw a crafting bench down now this house allows for lots lots of space i mean if you need well you can't do that but if you need lots of storage and lot and you know furnace this one as far as for our mini house builds this one has provided the most space for us and then if you know it's medieval time so you got your your armor stand right there now let's go ahead and go up here we need a bed for survival i would throw it down right there is where i would put it and then i'd take a chest like so and like so and then like so and like so and then we can even add two more chests up in here like so like this gonna take our some oak planks throw it across the bottom like that now you got two little cubby holes for two more chests to hide up in there and they can open because we got the planks on the roof. See how that works? Okay, now for now for the lighting for this place. It's medieval times, right? So you could so you could do the old item frame trick. You know, everybody they think you know it's it's kind of an old trick, so people don't like to use it anymore, but when you're doing a build like this, I think it works good because it's it's medieval times, so they used to hold torches up on walls like that and you could do that you could place a torch on top of this kind of like a candle or you could throw a torch you know you could do your you could throw a torch up here and do your do the item frame trick again maybe you didn't even know about the item frame trick i know i mean someone's got to teach you the item frame trick for you to know about the item frame trick all right let's dress the outside up just a wee bit not a whole lot of dressing up going to be done today on the outside but we can do we could do a little bit we know we got to add some flowers to this place right let's go ahead and yell some the dandelion and we're gonna need uh well you can't you i mean you can if you have grass grass blocks then you can do that but you can just put dirt if you want to but we're gonna take our grass block throw it across the top like so we're gonna put some trap doors along the side here now my trap doors fit very well for this style build as far as like my texture pack i know i haven't used the texture pack on any of these builds before but on this one i wanted to because it, it made it feel more medieval but i this texture pack is very close, 
very close to vanilla so go ahead if you're using a vanilla texture pack you can use this it's gonna be fine and for this back side we're, we, we could put another flower pot if you want i would just do like a single flower pot if you wanted to do that but i'm just gonna throw like a like a like a shutter like that see how it's sticking out add some more 3d so we kind of push the boundaries with the roof and everything on our five by five but the building the core building and the inside is still a three by three and the outside building is five by five so Theoretically, it's still a mini home sufficient survival medieval style. I totally butchered how I said that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. I know some of you have built some of these houses in your world. Hey, if you do, send me a screenshot at my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Take some screenshots. I want to see some of your houses that you build. Maybe you tweaked them a little bit. Maybe, you know, or maybe you got a mini home that you built that you really like. Go ahead and send it to me on Twitter. I would love to see it. Just take a screenshot, hit F2, upload it to Twitter, send it to me, and I'll check it out. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave any comments down below that you want to. If you just want to say hi, I'll say hello back. Thanks for watching. Thanks for shopping. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.